Please remember to hit like and subscribe and perhaps even become a member or patron to support the channel. Also, I want to give a super special shout out to all my awesome tier 3 members and patrons, Riptide, Anik D, Z Wandra, Matthew Hall and Charlene Kelly for their amazing support. It really helps and means a lot. Hey guys, and welcome back to Simulus and I, Darkness Falls mod. So yeah, uh, we faced the day 21 horde last episode. Uh, we finished killing them, and now we just need to loot all these loot bags before they despawn. I really hope since we faced a longer horde night, that the loot bags aren't going to start despawning sooner. So what I need to actually do, uh, also I need to put my days back to 60 minute days. I went for 90 minutes or 105 minutes horde. So it's like almost 30 minutes long horde night, but for some reason it stretched all the way to 40 minutes. But if I can put my time back down, um, I think I should do that off looting because the loot bags might just despawn to make days shorter. I think these bags should hold now that we're on the setting. Um, hopefully it's sc uh, it scales to the difficulty you're playing. So if you do like, for example, 120 minute days, that's a 30 minute long horde or horde night, then the loot bag should last longer. If I'm not mistaken. I might be wrong, who knows? Okay, so I'm going to drop some ammo. If I can't dump a ton of stuff and let's go. Come on, I need ammo. After all the ammo I wasted, although mostly Molotovs, I still wasted a ton. I should see if I don't have the stuff required to make myself some uh, Molotovs on my own, but I know it's going to take a lot of gas. I think one Molotov, if I'm not mistaken, is like 300 gas. That's a lot. That's like a lot, a lot. Okay, uh, any bags on this side? No, a few zombies died over here. Nope, no zombies on that side. Okay, I should probably just do this. Copy shape, copy rotation. So if I need to get away, I can just get away. If I have to uh, try and balance <laughs> on a... Ooh, already got a card. Nice. If I have to try and balance on a ladder, that might just kill me. And we didn't really get this... Uh, this time around, we didn't really get that much loot. I think for the day 14 horde, we definitely got way more. Although we did have a ton of crops exploding, so I don't know if explosions are also bad for loot. It might just destroy the loot bags, even if just slowly. Okay, so there's no loot bags in this room left. No loot bags in this room left. I should go check downstairs as well. Come on, give me some good loot. It's unfortunate. It seems that these red bags do give you better loot. Oh, wow. We're from level 26 to level 60. Um, these red bags do give you better loot, but just in terms of ammo. So it's just basically like vanilla. You get a ton of ammo for the red bags. Other than that, the loot itself doesn't seem to be that much better in the different colors. Although so far, I've only gotten like green quality from yellow bags. I've gotten purple quality from the red bags. But Kane said it's not the uh, it's not how it works, so it's he's the mod creator, he knows. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, schematics that we do know we can scrap for now. Any space purple, green we don't need. Ooh, we have some I wonder how much hazmat clothing we have. If we have a ton of hazmat clothing, we might be able to get lucky. Oh, look at that. Okay, so this one, steel armor schematic. See, that's why I, th I think we should be able to make our own steel armor already. We don't have to waste any skills. Because I've read that one so many times already. But when you look at the uh, steel armor, it says we haven't read a single book. But I know for a fact that I've read all three. I just didn't have the level for it yet. So if I do this, and I go over here, it's one. But I know for a fact that I've read three and I've scrapped so countless others. But now it seems it was a mistake to scrap the others because for some reason it just didn't take. Okay, I uh, don't need, don't need. I'll probably try and sell this match. To Ooh, I have a ton of hazmat. I have the pants, I have the shirt. I just need the boots. There's a ton of hands over here. I just need the boots and the helmet. And I'll be able to go into the wasteland. Obviously, no armor at all and no lights. But I'll be able to go into the, uh, the wasteland now and pr probably get some good loot. Okay. It seems like we've got all the loot bags in this place, unfortunately. Which means this time around we definitely got less than last time. But I mean it's not bad. It's not like the worst thing in the world. I wonder if I went for normal Horde Knight length and 64 Blood Moon spawn. I know the lag would have just been just as bad. But I wonder if the loot would have been better. Because I think the, there's more zombies at, at, at a stage coming at you that way. But that even makes sense. 
And for example, now there only was there was only 32 zombies at a time, but usually 64, there's more to burn. And, and a shorter interval, interval, so it's way more intense. Okay, now we just need to go through all of this and drop as much as possible. Mods. Ooh. And I have two sledge mods over there. And I can make myself coil stuff. I need to do that while we are. Uh, weapons. I should actually see which one of these I can scrap and or sell. And the rest I should actually just go and repair. Okay, so AK, AK, AR, shotgun's mine. Do that, do that. This stuff I hold on me always. And then the mods, weapon mods, weapon mods over here. No, that's clothing mods. That's clothing mods. Where did I see the weapon mods? Over here. No, that's more tool mods than anything else, right? So, motor tools, parts, and mods. Yeah, and that's mods for tools as well. That all goes over here. And then the clothing mods go over the side. See, the problem is, between my two playthroughs, I'm using two different, completely different layouts for my loot. So, I'm getting so confused as to what's where. Okay, I need a better helmet so I can put this thing on. I need that desperately. Okay, and also armor. Let me just check this. Boots. Yes, we have the boots. Now we just need the helmet. Okay, so we can actually scrap this one. Let me just do that. So we have one, two, three, four hazmat pieces. And then also, I, I don't, I'm going to take all the dyes off. I don't care for the dyes that much. But I just need, now need a hazmat headpiece. And then we're set. We can go to the that biome. No problem at all. No, I'm just quickly going to do this. No, 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 no. I want to sell that. I might be able to scrap it. I think you need to scrap these. Yeah, um, I th I'm going to keep them. I think you need to scrap them to be able to make radiation add-ons, if there's such a thing. Radiation. Yeah, for these, you need the military fibers and stuff. Hazmat fibers. So we need to save as many of these hazmat pieces as possible. But you're definitely going to need them later. That's blue. Now. Are those? Let's just please take that off. Pink out of mind for I know you can sell pink, but for now I just want to get the colors I need for my books. The more class quest stuff we can do right now, the better. Okay, building supplies. Guys, go over there. Clothing mods. I'm just gonna put this in there for now. I want to use that, but for now we can't use it. And then clothes. Clothing mods, clothes and dyes. Boom, armor goes over there. What kind of boot do I have? Oh. Oh, okay, that's better. Modify. I need to make sure that I'm always wearing the best armors. And sometimes it's easy to forget which one I'm actually busy with. Okay, so that means I can sell this one if I'm able to. Sell these. Miscellaneous goes over here. And now we're also starting to get the, uh, the cards. So that's a good thing as well. AK. We also have a blue AK, it seems. But wait, 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 wait. I thought I dropped AKs already. Oh, I dropped it in the wrong container. I was about to say, I dropped them in the gun box, but where are they? I do that, and then the knife I have on me is level 40. This is level 41. I should put this one on. Okay, uh, let's read this one. Except I didn't use any of my first aid kits this time, so that's actually really good. Last time, I ended up using so much, I was mad at myself. And that is building, so we'll put that in there. This one doesn't have friends. Trader goes like so. Do I have lights? No, I wonder if I put it under vehicle parts. Yes, I did. This time around, I actually put all of the stuff where they belong. Okay, iron steel axes go over here. I now need to see. I do have a steel axe under gear. This is my stuff. So I need to make sure that I'm always wearing the greatest quality. This one does 50 block damage. This one does, yeah, that's way better, the steel axe. Okay, so for now, we're going to put away the rocket launcher, the AK and stuff. Ooh, lag. I'm really not a big fan about the fact that we're getting so much lag, guys. Um, I think also it's to do with the fact that... Look at all these errors. During Horde Night, we got so many of these errors. It's insane. And I think that's actually breaking the game at the moment. So I need to be so careful. Ooh, I'm so close. Three more levels and I'll be able to go for the mastery class of, so, of the scientist. And we can make ourselves a drone. That's what I'm after right now. If I can make myself a drone, that's going to help us tremendously. Because then I don't have to worry too much about the storage and stuff. Okay. Uh, let me just combine this quickly. Nope. No need. No need. No need to repair. Modify. 
Unfortunately, we can't go past level 40 by combining because we need a laser workbench. But for now, this is already great. Look at that. We can have four more or two more mods on there. Just from all the cars that are wrenched off camera. The nice thing is, unlike Wes UK, these cars don't respawn. And that's what I'm uh, what I like. It shouldn't respawn after you've used it. The drone that we have, the robotic turret, only is like level 3 or 5 or something. So for now, I'm not going to be using that. Yeah, level 9. Every time I repair this thing, it drops quality by 5. So if I repair again 4, repair again 1, and then... Yeah, it's just going to stay really low. That's not worth it. This, this. Lights. Okay, now repair kits. Then we need lockpicks. Food I'm going to keep over here. Okay, so um, let's do this way around. We use these during. Do this. So we have our knife. Let's put the knife that side. And then we need to, uh, to grab more Molotovs. At the moment, unfortunately, we've used up all our Molotovs. So I can't even hold that space for it right now. We'll just have to wait. Drinks, do this. That should fill me up nicely. Shovel. Yeah, see, the problem at the moment is... Let me just check this quickly. This does how much damage? Block damage, 73. Right? If I use the auger, it's block damage, 4 point, No, 40. So uh, for every two shots of this one, the, the attack speed is 300. Attack speed is 50, uh, 58. So basically, six times the auger is six times faster... And for every second hit, it does the same amount of damage as my pick. Which means at the moment, the auger is definitely a bit, way, way, way better than the pick. Because the damage is twice as much, but and the attacks is six times as much. So it does three times as much damage, basically. Okay, so we'll put these away. The auger. Yeah, I just, the only problem with the auger is the fact that it makes so much noise. This, this, this. And do we have the Iron Breaker? Do we have the Bunker Buster? We need the Iron Breaker. We also need the Grave Digger mod. Grave digger, grave digger. That's under two mods. No, unfortunately not. What is this? Structural brace. Let me just see. Does this have or no? It doesn't. What's this? No stamina usage. We don't have to worry about at all. Oh, because it has diamond tip thing. It doesn't need this. Um, I wonder if it can hold this. If not, we might just be able to put this one in. No, it doesn't. Okay, so at least we get to hold more gas. I don't want to put... Ooh, Grave Digger. There you go. Modify... Okay, so this is for durability. This is to break through stone. This is just to do more damage. And then this one's to do more damage to dirt. So uh, we need a better, like a level 50-something uh, auger to be able to get the Iron Breaker on there as well. But for now, this is going to help tremendously. This helps with stamina. Then we have the Iron Breaker and Stone Breaker and then also Burning Shaft mod. So that thing's really powerful right now. This one, however... Uh, it does have the diamond tip mod, so it doesn't need that. Taper blade, that one's fine. So for now, we can just do this and put the tools away. Steel pick and shovels go over here. So for now, we should have the best mods or best weapons and stuff on us. Oh, I need to put that away as well. The auger we can use later, or all of the chainsaw. We don't need the chainsaw right now. So for now, I'm just going to move this over one until we have the Molotov again. That's why I'm keeping the water on me. Do this, and then we can put this way. Okay, so now what I need to do. Uh, scientist. What do we need for the scientist? For this. Scientist. I also realized, guys, last episode I didn't hand in the man-eater quest to the trader. Or the episode before the ward. Um, I was at the trader to hand this in, but I never did. So we have to go do these two as well. Let's just first see if we can't get this done. Okay, so uh, I'm going to make sure we grab half of everything so it's easier to dump stuff back. Uh, resources, we have some plant fibers. We have some wood and we have some cloth fragments. And then we have to make one splint. At least it's not five splints. In basic case, for all of the food quests, you have to make five of each item. That takes so much longer. No black dyes, unfortunately. I really need black dyes more. At the moment, it's not that bad because we do have yellow, red, and blue. But if we can get the black ones immediately, that's going to save us time and effort. Actually, sell that one. Sell that. Put that there. Okay, we need to gather aloe vera. Oh, we don't have that at all. Um, I need the desert biome, or I need to actually go to the trader and see if that's... Okay, the drop we already got. 
the horde base i need to keep marked okay let's go for the various supplies and then hand these two in hopefully the scout actually has aloe vera for me at the moment the problem is we don't have of the desert biome i could just drive down i think the desert biome is at the bottom uh yeah let's, let's just drive down i don't know if the scout's gonna have uh, i don't want to get there and then there's nothing there and also we're gonna waste one skill point quickly so i want to make sure that my weapon crafting is four out of five that means if i repair this now i shouldn't lose any durability now that was 37 right so if it pops into my inventory lower then I, oh something's wrong something is wrong i should have oh it's not under gun craft oh it was weapon crafting i need to go for gun crafting that was a dumb mistake at least we still have a good it's, it's still a good shotgun but <laughs> that was dumb guys um crossbows and stuff and melee falls under weapon crafting um my guns fall under gun crafting so i just invested in the wrong skill oh wow i missed this car Oh, I miss oh yeah, the only light posts that I didn't get are these black ones over here. Basically, these lampposts over here also give you electrical parts and stuff. So later when we need a ton of electrical parts for the quail weapons, we don't have to worry at all. Because they'll, they'll be there again in the roads. I just have to come for all of these lights. The only thing is they don't give the uh, scrap polymers, they only give electrical parts. What's up with this lag? Look at this. This is definitely the city doing this much lag. I want to quickly check if I do gfx af0 again there's another command that i can also use but i forgot what that command was yep 60 frames per second if i'm not mistaken this command either uses more of your ram than something I, I don't know how it works again i am not that well versed in the commands but i just know it takes off the graphics card and give it to, uh, gives it to your ram or something please tell me there is a uh desert down here Wait, 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 wait. This is zero, zero. There might be nothing down here. No, it's not down there. I think the forest or the desert might either be upstairs or to the right of here. See, I'm getting confused with my custom maps. If this was my custom um, Waze UK map, then this would definitely be the right direction. But I just realized, um, if I'm not mistaken, in Darkest Falls, there's a circle going to it. So basically the radiated zone or the wasteland is in the middle, it's a circle, and all around that's the different biomes. So I don't know where I'm going to find that much aloe vera right now because there's no aloe, there's no desert severe. Please tell me I'm able to get this stuff done fast, oops. A dig quest means zombies are going to spawn in, right? But I'll be able to at least test my... Oh, we have gas, phew. I'll be able to use my auger, test my auger out a bit. But one that was like, oh no, I didn't bring my gas with me. That would have sucked because I dropped my shovel. I need to be careful. There's so much stuff to actually get caught on over here if you're not careful. Guys, I wonder how many of the Alpha 19 POIs have been left in the game. Because even with VZK, there's so many buildings that I'm so used to seeing in Alpha 19. That I haven't seen in Alpha 20 yet. I just don't know if I'm just unlucky and it hasn't spawned for me yet. Or if it's been completely removed. Because you, you actually grow attached to some of the POIs. They look awesome. And then all of a sudden they get taken out. Uh, whether it's the mod creator or the fun pimps. Or changing something that makes it so you can't use that POI anymore. Oops. Hey, what? Son of a bitch! So with all of these survivors here, hopefully you guys will help me out. I need to grab all the stuff on my bike. I forgot that I still had stuff on my bike. So let's just lock 12, grab the rest, and pick up the vehicle. This is really not good. Wait, this is where we almost died to the radiated fat zombies, right? I want to dig down, but first I need to kill these zombies. It looks like the guys have my back, but they're so weak. I won't be surprised if they die right now. And yeah, the zombies are still coming for me. I should go probably go save them. Let me see. What did I just hit? Oh 
Come on. We shouldn't fa fail this because I haven't accepted it. Let's just quickly help these two. You don't tell me I'm actually only gonna hit him. Oh, she died. Fresh air. Dude, your friend just died. You don't feel any remorse. Okay. Yeah, we need to go that direction. The nice thing is, it seems this orga... Oh, uh, yeah, it's definitely way better than what we had. Just have to do this to make it nice and wide for me. If it's a 2 by or a 1 like this, then it's easier to move around. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I have to shoot two blocks now because I can't see their legs from this angle. This is a wandering ward of radiators. Oh, I'm gonna die over here. Oh, this sucks. I'm gonna die on the ground. Oh, come on, please don't die. No. That What are you looking for? Can you help me? If you break it, you buy it.
Listen up, jackass. You want well, good luck. By the looks of it, you're gonna need it. <laughs> All right, now that we're done doing business, get out of my store.
A big thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click join or the Patreon link in the description down below.